Question number three says, a plane flies from base camp to Lake A, a distance of 280 kilometers at a direction of 20, uh, <coughs> excuse me, 20 degrees north of east. After dropping off supplies, the plane flies to Lake B, which is 190 kilometers and 30 degrees west of north. From Lake A. <laughs> Graphically determine the distance and direction from Lake B to the base. Do this on paper. Your instructor may ask you to turn in this work. So here's how I worked it. I drew my diagram. You can do this with a protractor and a ruler, but I didn't I don't have either of those, so I, I did it mathematically. And I, the first one says that there's something that's 20 degrees north of east. So here's east, and then just barely north of that, so 20 degrees north to be exact, um, there is a destination. So I don't know what the destination is, but I know it's less than 45 degrees, so I'm just going to draw that. So I know that 20 degrees north. And I know that the distance here is um, 280 kilometers. And so I can use the, uh, the um, cosine, because cosine, cosine e e is um, cosine of theta, or cosine of my angle, is going to equal the ratio of the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So this is my adjacent. I'm talking about this angle. This side is adjacent to that angle, and this is the hypotenuse. So I don't know what that distance is. So I know that my cosine of, of 20, 20 degrees, equals 280 over, at, um, I'm sorry, I got that backwards, equals x over 280. So my adjacent is the x. <clears throat> and you can work that out when you type in cosine or 20 in your calculator and hit cosine. The answer is 0 0.93969. So I know that that equals x over 280. You can work that out algebraically to find that x equals... 263.11 so so far I have my x1 value is 263.11 then I can use tangent tangent is opposite over adjacent opposite over adjacent and I can scratch that out and put 263.11 and plug it in here and I'm just making a right triangle, and I'm making I'm going to call this y. And I don't know what my y value is, so except that I know that it's this opposite. So we'll say that y over 263.11 equals the tangent of 20 degrees. So you type in 20, you hit tangent, and it's, it gives you the value of 0 0.3639 and you can use some algebra to figure out that y1 equals 95.77 now we got to figure out y2 so what we've done is we've traveled here we know that it's 95 point something up we know that it's 263 over, and now we want to travel 190 kilometers. Then if we say that this is north, we want to travel 30 degrees west of that, somewhere over here. Well, let's call this 190 kilometers, and we want to find the distance x went and the distance y went to find our x2 and y2 values. 
So our x2 and our y2 values, so if we know that this is 30 degrees, um, that looks ugly, 30 degrees, we know that this distance is 190, our hypotenuse is 190, then we'll say cosine of 30 equals x over 190. And so that ends up equaling, um, and, and actually, let's not use x. Um, actually, let me let me redraw this. So this is north, and this is the 30 degrees right here. So forget this part. Um, and this is so this is my x value, and this is my or this is my y value. This is my x value. So be, you got to be careful. Um, I almost made the mistake. Um, and actually, I'll redraw what I have. I have 20 degrees going, this will be 20 degrees north of east. I have uh, another line going this way. If we say that this is north, south, east, west, then I have something that's 30 degrees to the west of that. This is 30 degrees to the west of that. So this is my adjacent. This is my opposite. Okay, and I know that this is 190. So this adjacent, my y2 value, so I'm looking for x2 and y2. My y2 value is going to be um, cosine 30 equals y2, or my adjacent, over 190. And when you do cosine of 30, the, the number you get is 0 0.866, and that equals y2 over 190, which uh, y2 equals 164.5. So 164.5. And then I want to use tangent. Tangent of 30 equals x2 over 164.5 so my x2 value when I work it out algebraically is 95 95 and 95.77 now I want to talk about this 95 since I'm going in the negative x direction then I want to change this to a negative sign <laughs> so it's negative 95.77 so now I want to write down my x1 um, actually, let me explain what I'm doing. My resultant vector, the magnitude of the resultant vector, which um, is just r, equals x1 plus x2 plus y1 plus y2. <clears throat> so, the resultant vector, my x value is going to be x1 plus x2 which is going to be <clears throat> is going to be 263.11 minus 94. Point, uh, I'm sorry. I, I actually gave you the wrong number here. This is, should be 94.97. I gave you the first number, 94.97. Um, so x equals negative 94.97 plus 263.11 x equals 168.14 then my y1 plus y2 is uh, 164.5 plus 95.77 and I actually put the 2 and the 1 around but so y equals my resultant vector y is uh, 260.31 so now I know that my x value when I end and my y value when I end so let's go back over here my x value of 168 so we'll say that's 100 that's 200 the x value is somewhere around here the y value is 260 
100, 200, 300, so it's somewhere around here. So its resultant vector is there, and it comes from this vector plus this vector. And so we can use a right triangle to figure out the distance because a squared, which we know what a squared is because it's our x value, with our resultant x value was 168.14. So we take that and square it. And then we take our y value, our b squared, which is our y value squared, which is 260.31. We square that and we add them together and it's going to equal this c squared. So when you add them together, you actually, when you square those and add them together, you get an answer of, um, I'm sorry, 96,062.54. So that's C squared. You take the square root of that, you find out what C equals or your resultant, um, which is um, three approximately... 310. It's like 309 point something. <clears throat> so this is 310. Then we can use, <clears throat> so we know that we have a resultant vector that is 310 and um, 2, uh, let's see, 260.13 and um, 168. Point one four. Now we want to know the angle, so we can just pick out any definition for the angle. So if we say that sine theta, or the theta being the angle, equals opposite over hypotenuse, then we would say that theta equals sine negative to the negative one power times opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite, um, opposite is 260, hypotenuse 310, so 260 over 310 times um, the inverse sine function, which on my calculator it says something like a sine. I have to hit the, <clears throat> the second key, hit the second key, and then hit the sine key, and that gives me the a sine. So should be able to do that and it will give you your angle which is 57.12 degrees north of east the fast way to do that is just to graph 20 degrees and measure this line over the the necessary length then graph from here graph 30 degrees measure that line how it needs to be and then take your protractor back here and use a ruler to draw a straight line and figure out what the angle is. Then measure the line and figure out what the magnitude is. So if I had a protractor, I would have done it the easy way. And instead of taking me um, 13 minutes to do it, it would have taken me 2 minutes.